hello everyone so in the last video you learn about the secrets variables everything so in this video we will learn about task control and loops in ansible why we need loops in ansible so basically the loops are for like let's say you are installing some packages let's say you want to create a create user accounts or something like that maybe you are doing this repeated task and you want to avoid this repetition using loops uh, save administrators from need to write multiple tasks uh, and using the same module let's say you want to install two packages but you are writing two uh, tasks in the ansible so we will do something like vim site.yaml so we have this basic structure here so i just like loop control loop and task control okay now we will have task okay i'm going to install two packages so i have to install the um, uh, install htpd and firewall d so it will be install htpd so i use yum name htpd state present then i have to install firewall d so i will use do something like name install firewall d then the task is yum and name firewall d sorry firewall d then state present let's see how it will work and simple playable site or yaml so it will uh, go through the task and it will install HTPD. okay good then there will be another task install firewall d so what you can do in saturday ml instead of multiple packages i can do something like this so here what i am going to do instead of name i want to install two packages so can use like HTPD firewall D okay here I am going to use like install packages because the YAM module support multiple otherwise it won't work now we try again so you have only one task it will install HTPD and firewall firewall D so you can have any number of packages but because the YAM module support multiple packages now I want to enable HTTPD and firewall D. So here we have a name enable HTTPD. So the name is service and name is HTTPD. So uh, if you check I cannot give like HTTPD and uh, firewall D as a list to the service module because service module is expecting a single service. So I have to do like name enable service. Here I put service name HTTPD state starter enabled true enable true means i have to enable in the next reboot i have i should have the same service like for firewall d so i use like enable service here i put firewall d so i have two services two tasks for services and one task for packages so we try this again okay we are good i'm just running again to show you that so install packages one task is finished enable service there are two tasks we want to avoid this so we have an option in ansible to use the loops for loops what we can try is very simple here uh, in yam we have this is not loop this is an option in yam module to pass multiple packages 
but in service we do not have that option so instead of uh, adding multiple tasks i use loop okay then i use httpd then firewall d so i don't need i don't need this anymore and here instead of httpd this is an item so what i have to go to use item so we have a loop here it will go through the httpd and firewall d entries and the item is the loop variable by default it's called item you can use any other variable uh, that you will learn later and we will try this one okay so here it will uh, restart or start the service on node 1 httpd and httpd and node 2 h5old and yeah like that so you can see this is a single task now earlier it was two tasks so this is a simple loop so if you have a uh, same kind of task and you want to, you are adding multiple tasks in the same playbook try to convert to loops now we have used uh, loops which is the latest uh, method um, earlier yeah, earlier or still you can use all methods like uh, with items with a dictionary with uh, files with list all those options but loop is the recommended one okay now we will see one more example for um, loop uh, with items so i will add something here and uh, like okay words i have a variable called um okay user list for example so under the user list i have a list uh, user 101 user 102 and user 103 so this is a list and uh, the variable called user list so here we will we are not going to create the user uh, i just want to show you name show users here i just use the debug to show this one and message i put item and i will use with underscore list this is a variable so i have to use like user underscore list so this user list is here and it will go through the list we will try what is happening here okay so for each node it will execute uh, so you you can see for node 1 it's executing user 101 102 103 then for node 2 101 102 103. this is attending through the list if you want to create user then you can use this method let's say if you want to try uh, i will try something like this create let's say we create users no harm create user here i put user module then instead of message i put name okay so we are going to use a user module and they will use a user list and we will just add the user no password nothing we try here i don't know it will show error good it's adding users in node one and node two and we will can use like node one cat etc password good it's adding new users no password nothing said and yeah that's it for the loop actually it's very simple so if you have any questions ask in the comment box uh, read the documentation for more details see you next time with another video thank you for watching please remember to subscribe and thank you